Hi guys, welcome back to another quick tip tutorial. This time I will talk about N-Gons, which are faces with more than four sides. A good modeler always tries to create quads or triangles because N-Gons won't create a smooth surface. So it is very common to reduce the N-Gons and try to only create triangles or most of it quads which give the best smoothing surfaces. Real-time engines for example cannot work with N-Gons so you always have to try to create smooth surfaces with quads or triangles. And in this quick tip I want to show you how to filter out N-Gons and how with some easy tricks eliminate N-Gons. So, First of all, here's my model. It's just a simple drawer, which for instance could be used in a game for a background object or something. For real-time engines, as I just stated, you cannot use N-Guns. So you could go and display your wireframe and check each pole to see if there are more than four corners. In this case, it would work because I don't have that big wireframe but for detailed for detailed objects it's it would be a pain to go manual manually through everything so I have a quick trick which I use very often you go into the select menu which you'll find when you're on the polygon polygon mode and at the bottom you can choose select using constraints if that is selected, a dialog pops out where you can choose what you want to select. You can also only select triangles or only quads and end guns are n-sided. So I would first constrain it to my next selection, which will I do next. And I want to select, for instance, let's say triangles. So for it to work, you have to go into your faces mode so I first select it and then I would go into faces mode. I could do it with the right click and then go to face but I want to see the angles for all my objects so I would go into the um, component tab and select in here the faces like this. And then you can see I can make my selections here and if I now go over my objects with a selection marquee you can see that only my triangles are selected. If I go over the whole thing, you can see the bottom is one, there is one. So there are a lot. The same goes for quads because my whole mesh is built up of quads. So for end side you select, select that, create a selection marquee over your object and then you will see, oh here are some end guns. You can also select four to see the wireframe but most of my angles are here so you could now go in and manually um, connect the vertices with the um, cutting face tool so you would go into my object select click and drag and go over it now I've got a triangle and a quad and if I now go into my face mode again and choose end side and go over the selection again uh, next selection then those won't be affected anymore and is an even faster way would be to go into the mesh menu and click on the cleanup and here you have the option to fix by tessellation so you could choose fix faces which have more than four sides if you then apply or clean it up, all your N-Gons will be tessellated, so you have only or you will eventually get triangles out of that. This is a pretty easy and straightforward way to eliminate N-Gons and create a softer and smoother mesh for real-time engines and for quality renderings. Thank you guys for watching. The next quick tip will be online very soon.